Right, give it a couple of more seconds for everybody to join. Meanwhile, I'm waiting. Which is not clear of it tonight. Okay, so, if you are around, I can see everybody's starting to come up in. Um, welcome. If this is your first time, welcome to my channel. Um, if this is your... A couple of times you've been at my channel, thank you for coming back. <laughs> hi, hi, uh... Now, I'm going to try and remember your name now. Let me think, let me think, let me think. Oh, remind me of your name. <laughs> Oh, so bad when I can't remember somebody's name. Is it? I want to say Kim, but it's not, is it? Hello, Kilburn Creations. <laughs> oh, I, what? I'm sure your name is Kim. Christina, there we are. Thank you very much, my darling. Thank you. I do really, really, really try hard to remember everybody's names. But thank you for coming on tonight. Um, I'm going to be finishing this daily book. Hoping that you can see a lot of it tonight. And the picture's not blurry. Hi, Gillian. Oh, glad you're there. I've received your parcel today. Um, I'm sure it's your parcel. Let me see. Yeah. It's your parcel, Gillian. I have received your entry. I haven't opened it yet. Um might go up after the live or might go up tomorrow but i just to let you know i have received it i'm so so excited to open it um i only had five minutes today and i wanted to um appreciate what you've made because i know this is your first time in my in my challenge and uh, you were so nervous about it so it has arrived i'm dead excited of opening it so leave the, the video of me opening it of course I'll either go up Tonight, if I can get it up tonight or tomorrow. Hi, Liz. Hi, Laurel. <laughs> Hi, Debbie. I'm glad you got there safe and sound. Yep, definitely there. I'll give it a couple of more seconds for everybody to um, join before I um, before I sort of go on with tonight's project. Hi, Adore Marie. I'm so excited, Julianne. So excited. Cannot wait to open your um, your entry because I know how nervous she was and um, I can't, I'm really looking forward. Really, really looking forward to opening it. So if you ladies are not sub to each other, um, please subscribe to each other as um, we're going through the live. We all watch different things on YouTube. YouTube is such a big place. Um, so I think by subbing to each other, we get to learn new things and be inspired by new things that, um, that others are interested in. So please sub to each other. Um, <laughs> and I will, um, let you know what I'm doing tonight. So last week I started this sewing, no, this let me start again. Beatrix Potter um, stick pin um, sewing book. So tonight I'm going to finish it off. I'm hoping to finish it off. So I did the, f the this is the back and this is the front. And oh, I've had some really nice doilies. Well, sort of. Well, no, yes, they are nice. These were a bundle. Let me show you first off. 
These were a bundle I had off eBay and I haven't finished going through them and they are like, they're just a die for. Some have like, got patterns on, some are plain, some have I've seen before and I've been gifted um, with the butterflies. That has to be one of my favourite ones to use. So I'm going to be playing a lot with these doilies tonight. Um, I'm going to show you, I made a doily flower sort of uh, earlier on so i'm going to be using some of these doilies tonight um so yeah those are my that's my little doily um haul that i had off ebay and then this was another little haul i had now even though this says etsy it wasn't but i'm gathering the shears on yet see um just pop them for a second now so this is the shop and I desperately want to go and have a look and it's called Heirlooms he, he 2 Vintage and Upcycle Tableware and Linens find us on Etsy or Facebook now I found these I'm sure I had these off it could be Etsy I mean I'm sure it was eBay but it could be Etsy but anyway these are all vintage doilies um so i want to use some inside and they're really 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 pretty ones the circle ones that i'm hoping to use because this has got a bit of a pad into it so i'm hoping to use tonight and then these again those must be like where you would put your cups this is so cute oh thank you debbie um that's the table where one and i won't go through them all but i'll just show you a, gl a glimpse of them some have got like a pattern like this in the corner but it's like real um what do you call it real cotton linen that's absolutely gorgeous to touch and then these i've got that sort of a pattern going on in the corner and all scalloped around the edge there was this little heart cushion absolutely gorgeous and then in this package was this one which is exactly what i was thinking about using that tonight because it's got the i see a square square and a, a, um, a circle in amongst them so yeah and this one the first lot cost me 10 pound plus um, no it was 10 pound including postage was the first one um and they were both i both won them on bid now and then i've just won them and this one i can't remember for love no money it wasn't um expensive i think this one was 10 12 pound but it wasn't like i say it wasn't um expensive so you i got one two three four four of these all vintage and they're gorgeous absolutely stunning and then these ones are like now i don't usually go for red but oh my days that would look stunning on a project so oh, oh, sort of like um a, a pinky reddish awesome doilies love the doilies and vintage linens me too dawn thank you debbie jillian says wow these doilies are gorgeous thank you Gillian and then that plain one there and then again this is the sort of again the Irish I say Irish linen no it's cotton linen and it's got a bit of a, a thing to it hi Jacqueline so this one has got a shop to it so I'm going to show you the shop in a sec and I'm going to get the ones out I want for tonight's project Um, I'm going to use I think I want to use these because they're padded and because we're making a stick pin book so I'll show you the shop again this is the shop it's called Heirlooms 2 Vintage and Upcycled Tableware and Linens 
So I don't know whether they go, you know, whether they're US or higher crafting lady or um, hi Sil Sylvia or whether they are, I, I don't know. I don't, I, I honestly don't know where they're based. <laughs> Nothing too <laughs> personal on YouTube. So yeah, I don't know where they're based. Um, all I know is that they were they were too hard to resist so um i want to start in insight um tonight and i want to do a bit of layering of course now because this is a bit of a i want to create um a stick pin where you can put stick pins in one side and i was thinking about it and i think i may add like a little pocket at the bottom to one side i don't know what side yet um so i'm thinking of layering it this way i'm gonna cut that in half because it's pink we got pink or blue yes yeah, mostly pink on the outside um See, something like that, almost, was what I was thinking. And then, to go with that, I also bought these. I've been on a bit of a spending my pocket money as well. So this was these were off eBay. Now, I, I can't remember how much they are. I would have to go back and look. Um, this is a wedding applique. Um, and again, I found it on... Let me just adjust that picture a minute. I should be a bit better. There we are. Um, yeah, I, I found this on eBay. And you can get different colours. So it's not just the pink and the white. You can get blue, cream, any colour. Um, and I will try, once I've finished with tonight's live, I'll try and leave the links to everything you see tonight. Um, especially my new items I've bought. I'll try and leave the links in the um, description bar so you guys can pop on over. So this is the first one and it's absolutely stunning and it's got like pearls in it, flat back gems. Just gorgeous. Absolutely stunning. So this is the first one and then these. Now these were... Um, a different one to this one because this is a full piece these come in two different pieces so there's your first piece and it's got all white appliques on and then there's the second piece this is a yeah this is the second piece so if i lay these out and show you what i'm so we've got i think it's a left and a right I think it's for like a dresser or something. That's what makes me think. See how they sort of join? They're absolutely stunning. So those are my new little gadgets. Not gadgets. My new little uh, laces and bits and pieces I want to play with tonight. So let's get cracking on this side now. I want to use this first. Um, now this is vintage piece. There's a wrong side and a right side to this. And if you know me at all, I'm never frightened to cut into anything. Um, I just go straight for it. Don't think about it and cut it. <laughs> um, if it's... If it's a piece that I've completely fallen in love with, then I do find it hard to cut into. But things like this, I easily cut away. Right, so I may not cut that. I may actually want to take this label off. Yeah. And I'm going to stick that down there. And then that should come out on each side. So I'll be able to, it'll look fuller. So, 
Let me get my glue going. Beautiful. That is gorgeous. Oh, thank you, Laurel. Thank you, Jacqueline. Debbie said that is beautiful. Thank you, Debbie. Dawn says beautiful pieces. Thank you, Dawn. Okay. Mm -hmm. So I'm using um, high tech fast glue to stick everything down with tonight and a brush and all I'm going to do because if I stick it straight to that it's going to just want to go around the edges. I'm hoping that the signal um, doesn't play up tonight and that it is a clear picture and you're all able to use me okay. That is my dog snoring. He's not my husband. Um, he actually kept me up the other the other night because he was so loud. That is the dog, not my husband. <laughs> so loud. And like I said last week, I am going to be giving this away um, to whoever wants it. But don't tell me yet. Please don't tell me yet whether you would like to be in, entered in the draw. I'll let you know when to tell me. Because I did that one live and everybody said, oh, I'm really interested. <laughs> I'm really interested. And then I'd go back and I'd say, tell me now. Right. I'm still glad in there for now. Right. All right. There we are. Is the first one. Now, I think I'm going to make this side into my little pocket. Hi, Wendy. Um, this side into my pocket. So I'm going to place the pocket on first and then I can go around with my um, snippets and add my pieces I want to add. So I think this is the way I'm going to go with it. Right, and then it should have enough. Because there's a pink on the front and I've used pink laces and pink appliques. That's why I'm using the pink on the inside. And because this is padded, it just makes sense to use it. I do have a blue one, um, just think this is so pretty. Hiya Susan, oh bless, right I'm going to put that, I'm going to glue this here but before I do, um, now the other thing I had this week was this. I had all this, everything you see on this roll, for a pound. Um, that was including shipping. Again, that was on eBay. And that was this week. So I'm looking at the side of me. Yeah. Now I got sent um, a bit of this trim and because I'm using most of my snippets from what I've got, I know I'm not cutting any sort of fresh trims or anything like that, um, I'm using anything I've got to build my uh, 
picture? No, my lace is up. So all I'm doing is gathering my laces. This is so pretty. Oh, this looks good. Love those good deals. Thank you, Susan. Right, so I'm going to cut. Mm, I want a bit of a dangle on the edge. And I'm going to cut it just there. Somebody sent me that in the challenge this week. And I can't think who or now. I'm going to pop that there. And then I've got some of this trim. This is just from the circle of, a, of one of those pretty doily. it up into three and then I'm going to build it that way if me thinks. slightly over there um. so how is everybody's week been I love that quilted doilies I do not think I've seen one that the quilted one yeah me too never um Susan that was in the vintage pack um, that I bought. I've never seen them either. Um, and because, like I say, I've done, I've, I'll show you now the front cover in case everybody's forgotten what it looks like. The front cover's got a bit of pink on there. So it just made sense to use the pink up. And because it's padded, um, and because I want this to obviously be uh well if you're gonna put stick pins in it would be sort of like a sewing book um it it would it would fit perfect for that because with anything that's sewing um needles anything like that they're quite sharp so i'll show you the front cover so this is my front cover and as you see i've used like little different pinks um, and I'm going to do the same on the inside. So, what I've got planned... Oh, I'm going to take that one off from there. And I'm just going to pop this one back on. And then I'm going to get some of my new um, wedding applique out. that is so pretty oh thank you thank you susan and i'm gonna pop this one oh, i'm actually gonna leave it like that i think right put it on with the no i'm not gonna leave it like that clap no so you just pop up there and i'm gonna get the um out now i am going to use this new one because i have been using scraps for the front and the back um but i will be cutting off little pieces to build up the um to build up my picture so hiya gracie oh bless marlu I remember. Hi, Sierra. Right, so first off, first things, things first, I'm going to decide what part of this I want. Because this is Beatrix Potter, I want it to be leaves. Um... 
I'm just gonna cut it back down. Oops. All right. Let me get my and I did a live on Facebook in the garden and I smashed this little oh gosh this little jar and lucky enough I didn't hurt myself I was out in the garden and I asked it the table I was using I didn't put the legs up all the way and it just sh shattered on the floor into pieces I was like no I'm just getting like little snippets out at the moment I was fine when I'm doing something like this I think of it as um as a picture um because then I'm able to work with it I'm bringing them all like on sorry guys I just realized oh now Claire is making me envious and drooling over that pink piece oh bless oh I'm well I promise you ladies I will put the link in it didn't cost me um an arm and a leg I don't pay a lot for my um appliques um I, I think i only pay i only pay sort of over the odds if i've been wanting it a long time and it's you know it's that price all the time does that make sense if it's a little bit more then i will pay over the odds Usually I don't, so I know this applique didn't cost me much. I'm just going to move that just like this with snip peaks there. Right, and I want something to happen on this side. It would be the inside page. And then I'm going to put, I will put my Right, that's better. It wasn't sticking then. Um, I will put some of this pink, a little bit of pink on the top. Um, leaves. So I'm going to use, I think, this section here. So with an applique like this, you could fussy cut. Oh yes, yeah, sweetie, you're so welcome, sweetie. There. There we are. Okay, so I've got this edge here which I haven't done anything with but um, that's what our first page is looking like and we've got a little bit of a pocket going on as well and it looks as if I've gone you know way over the top of my laces but I haven't but I tell you one thing I didn't do and it's just for the book to close a little bit more so I'm just going to trim just along this edge because that is where it will get folded. Um, so I don't want any, anything really to interfere with that fold mark. Now with this edge here, I do have... This. And I just literally thought about it. Ah. I 
have some flowers. Like I said, I have made a doily flower. And I'll show you how I have made that when we come to it. Um, I'm going to put those petals on the top. And I think I'm going to put some, when I come to putting the pearls on. Um... I'm going to go straight across with my pearls, I think. Unless I can find another smaller trim to go across. Let me see if I can find one. Oh, what's this? I'm thinking... I'll show you what I'm thinking. So again, back to using my snippets. I've just been looking at all your beautiful things on Marlu. My hubby's threatening to hide my bank. <laughs> oh, bless. Hey, doily book or lace book yet? Oh, you haven't made one yet. Pretty page. Thank you. Um, Yeah, Marlu's got beautiful things. I'm going to be using the Beatrix Potter embellishments that I bought off Marlu. Um, but she has if oh wow just amazing um i'm just so glad and by the way um for those that don't know um marlu is gracie's palace or pa pa place i keep calling it palace is it palace or place dawn marie says she hasn't made a doily book yet well, you will enjoy making one, I promise, Storm Marie. They are so relaxing. Laurel, didn't you make your first one with Maggie? You did a bit um, a bit of a series link, didn't you? On live with Maggie, and you made your first ever one. This is looking completely gorgeous, Claire. Love how you're using your snippet. Thank you, Sierra. Yes, I'm home putting away my groceries. Right, so I'm gonna use that there. And I'm gonna just tuck that on top. Right, and I may go back to that in a second, but for now, that's my first page done. So the second page, obviously I cut the doily in one piece. Now, I do want to make this P, this, um, how do I want to call it, this page into a stick pin page. Using this because um, I've used it on that side and I just think it needs to be matching. Just me, but I think, I think it needs to be matching. So, to pad this out a little bit more so you can stick your needles in it or you can stick pin pins in it or anything um i am going to make do i want to pad this up so let's see just kind of look what we got to i'm going to use this but i am going to use this doily now this doily was not this isn't in the vintage lot this was just in a doily um pot that i had bought off ebay so this has got a bit of a trim to it it's um like a scalloped edge now because i don't want any scalloped edge this side what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna turn my piece round so the scallop edge either runs at the bottom and at the side which i quite like don't particularly want it running up the top because I haven't got it the other side. I'm quite symmetrical when it comes to things like that. Hi Avril, big hello to you all lovely ladies. Just pop for five minutes, it's spare time for, for my boys. You know Claire, I'm just in love with your stunning lakes book as I'm Peter Rabbit addicted also. I know, I know. So glad you can join us Avril, even if it's for just five minutes. Um, But if you can... Get back while your boys are in bed. I am actually giving this book 
um, away um, tonight. So I'm going to um, snip it off at the top. Right, and then to keep that, I do apologise, that's my dogs, it's okay, I won't feed them for a week. <laughs> Hi, Randy. Um, So, I'm going to cut up you, and I will um use these, these won't, just because I've cut them, it mean, doesn't mean I'm not going to use them, I will go back to using them. Gonna cut that corner edge off. What was it? And there's the white side. There. I'm gonna turn my book this way and stick all this down. So I'm just gonna go along the sides. And I'm going to go, please subscribe to each other, ladies. Check out each other's channels. We all do different things. And um, it's amazing sometimes when you subscribe to somebody's channel, how addicted you can get with with um, with one video. So please subscribe. You never know what you'll learn or be inspired by. So I'm going to place that there. Now... I'm going to put my, still a little bit too thin, it doesn't matter because I'm going to use one of my vintage doilies and I'm going to, no not because that is a bit too thin. Um, right, I've got the perfect one. So, that's what I was looking for. I'm going to use this circle, and what I'm going to do, I'm going to put some padding on the circle and then stick it completely down. So, for this one, I'm just using the circle. Um, this wasn't in the vintage pile. This was just in a pile that I had won off eBay. Did I miss what Avril said? So I'm going to turn it. And I'm going to, instead of putting um, stuff in, I might put some felt in. Keep turning. Right, and I will go back to using this. They make perfect, they make real nice um, flowers. Right, I'm going to just get some felt. <laughs> Do apologise for the light. Just seen Wendy and Debbie also. Oh, bless. So I've got some snippets here that I've just been bouncing about the place. Right. I'm going to cut this to the circle. Yeah. Um, I'm going to 
gonna stick that there and then stick that on top of there and I can use like little snippets then to go behind it because then this will be padded. Like I say, I have made um, some flowers. I will show you how I've made the doily flower and I will show you how I've made some rosebuds, fabric rosebuds. I'm going to stick it that way, I think, because just figuring out all the way what to stick. Right, flick it that way. I wondered if you could use a bra cup for a pocket already padded. Oh, that's a good idea. Yeah, of course you could. Ah, uh, don't worry, Sue. I need mean, the same boat. The chat does move quite fast. Um, I'll read out what... So, if I catch it, I'll read it out. Um, sometimes... <laughs> I'm in the same boat, so honestly. Sometimes I uh, find the chat moves quite fast, but it doesn't matter. So, Crafty Lady said, I wondered if you could use a bra cup for a pocket already padded. Um, so, that's a good idea. I think that's a good idea. Yeah, you could um, if you didn't have these or you could make some. I mean, who's not to say you could get... Let's have a look now. Give you an idea. Try to dig out a small one. It's really hard. Right. Here's like a fairly small um, doily. What you could do is sew some fabric to the back on your machine or hand stitch it. Then go across, you know, like they, well, they've done it in like a hexagon shape. But you could sew that to a piece of fabric and then you sort of go across. So you end up with like little diamondy shapes. And then that would leave you with like a padded doily. Another idea. But yeah, I like that idea very much. So I'm going to stick this now on top. And the reason I've gone the other way is because I can go now around it. Um, and I always use, I did, for a while I did use my glue gun. Um, but it was ever since doing a challenge for, um, yeah, a ch an entry for a challenge for someone. Um, and they mentioned that over time a glue gun will, um, they found a glue gun will um, go hard and sometimes where they've placed the glue, sorry guys for making you shake, will um, come away. So that's the um, reason I now use wet glue. For those that find um, the dozen stick, I will pick my glue gun up. But the glue that I'm using, Wendy, because I've just seen your question, is high tack, fast tack glue. Now, it's tacky glue for short. If you type in tacky glue, I usually buy this by the bottle from eBay. And um, <laughs> I recently ran out and then I bought some. And then when I looked in my cupboard, <laughs> I had two bottles already in my cupboard. But yes, you can, tacky glue comes in all different bottles. It comes in a white bottle, um, which is sort of, I find the white one is mainly, it's not tacky glue, I, I can't remember what the white one's called, but um, the white bottle in the tacky glue form um, is good for paper use. Um, tacky glue, I find, is one of the best glues out there. The other one is um, fabric tack, there we are. I always keep a bottle of fabric tax because I would never want to run out. Yeah, that's the other good one. Hiya, Sam. Sam's a Scottish crafter, everybody. <laughs> right, so I've got to stuck that down now. I'm going to go. I'm just going to slightly. Stick in like little snippets of I want to see what other snippets I've got. What are the goodies in my little jar of tricks? I have. 
Um, let's cut this in half. Oops. I'm going to stick that there. And I'm going to stick this one the other side. And instead of using pink one on this side, I'm going to move my um, doilies over a second. I've got um, some white applique that I want to use. Instead of using the pink one, I think I'd like to use a white one. Because I've got a bit of a white applique going on the back as well as the pink. I just think it would be nicer as well if I switched, switched and swapped the two so I'm going to cut out flowers this time um, let me see cut that there now I had this in this doily in my um, doily bag that I went off eBay um, with doilies like this, I tend to see like little small appliques. Show you what I see. Right, then I could stick that there. like so and then I'm gonna do I'm gonna cut out a little another little snippet I think and see what we've got it's got a small flower here I'll stick that on top oh no Yeah, you stick that there. And then on this side, just to sort of even it up a little bit. Has a look of a peacock feather. It does, doesn't it? Crafting lady, it does. That most definitely. I think I'm going to take this one away. I'm going to put this one on the back and I'm going to bring that forward instead. So there. There. Where's that white one that I've just been snipping into? And I'm going to use, um, I think I want to use, what's this say? Diane to use this pink one. Let me see. Oh, I know, I've got, I got an idea. Um, it wasn't that one I snipped into, it was the other one. No, it was this one. So, because this side is going to be where you would stick your stick pins in, um, I'm going to do white and then I'm going to go over some of the white with the pink. It would be a great crown as well. Yeah. See how um, you guys are you you're seeing something different. That's how I when I when I craft. That's why I tend to. That's why I tend to look for. 
um, when I craft. Not looking right to me though, that piece there. I think I'm going to go with that. And then I have got this, this was in the kit. Now I can't remember, I think this, I watched it last night as I was falling. Yeah, the quilted ones are gorgeous. Um, What was I going to say? This was in the kit, but I can't remember. I think this was in the Beatrix Potter kit. I'm sure it was. Um... Because I'm thinking of using it sort of, sort of like so. I'm going to leave that butterfly out. Right, I'm going to sort of I'm sure this was in the it would sell super fast. It's so pretty. Thanks so much, Sam. I need to get it posted for sale. I'm so behind. Oh, bless. I love the Culture Purses, Heart Sierra. And I'm sure we will see it so fast. Right, let me have a look. Now, I've got some um, of these pieces. And I'm thinking... thinking of just tucking them under and these have come off um, a doily that I was making I took a doily apart to make a doily flower which I will show you now in a second how I've done that um, is that I think I think I'm gonna stop sticking. Come away from the glue clack. Come away from the glue. <laughs> right. I'm gonna stop sticking and I'm gonna open the book. My thread is cold. I'm gonna open the book and I'm gonna start sticking my um, flowers I made. Now, these these are the flowers that I made earlier. Um, and one of them I do want to show you how I done, and I've also done some rose bit, buds as well, which are these tiny little. Well, that one's upside down. Forgive my hands; they're full of glue now. Did you leave Lady see the steampunk album I finished? No, Debbie, hi, I haven't. This is adorable, Debbie. Oh, thank you. Um, yeah, these are the like the little um rosebuds I made. You've got to forgive my hands. I wish I had a cloth. Wait a sec. I feel so right. Let me start again. These are the rosebuds I made earlier. They are super cute and super easy to make. So I'm going to show you how I made them. Now I made three, I was thinking I need a little bit more, and these are the flowers. Now, I want to sort of, um, make these flowers, I'm going to show you how I've made that. Now I made that up to doilies and some fabric, but that's all. Um, I've got some cut out, which I'll show you in a sec how I've done it. And those rosebuds, I'm thinking of gluing just there, like so. So that one is there, and then I'm going to do some more. Oh, 
just going to do it there. Right, Zach. I'm just trying to work out ladies I'm sorry if I've gone quiet I'm going to make some more of these rosebuds I think and I think I'm going to sort of loop them at the top that's what I'm going to do flowers are fab I love lovely flowers thank you ladies um, so I'm going to stick these down but I am going to actually show you how I've made them so the first one I'm going to stick down here these rosebuds they're super super cute and since it was Beatrix Potter, every time I see Beatrix Potter, I always think of Harry Potter. I don't know why. Since the Beatrix Potter, I wanted to show um, a variety of different flowers and show the fact that, you know, it, you could make rosebuds out of, well, out of like little fabrics. Like I say, I'm going to stick these down because I've got to make a few more for the other side. Right, so that's what I've got so far. Right, how did I make them? Um, I made that one, but I'm not sure whether I should stick that one there. And I also made this one. And I'm unsure about it. Right. Where's my ah? Okay, so this is how I made them. Let me get my needle and pen, needle and thread ready. Should be here. Oh ah. no. Right, my needles, my threads come off my needle. I did have it all ready. Right, so the first thing you need to do is decide what fabric that you want your rose petals to be in. Um, if you decide that, then you're halfway there. I just love the treasure chest in me. Um, then or the next thing you need to do is cut them into circle. Now, when I do circle flowers, um, I tend to do... I tend to pick up fabric like satin or silk because I know that it turn it can turn out like such a beautiful shabby flower. So how you do this is I've singed the edge on um, a candle. Now I would have done this on live except that um, why did I do it on live? It, I knew my table was going to be full for first thing, and the last second thing was the last time I did it with a candle oh, I smashed it on the floor on the live show so I'm not going to do it on a candle tonight but just trust me that I've singed the edge with a candle I could never work a steam bank it's too deep and very intense it's used way of material way over this girl's head me Susan me too I tried steampunk tried it once I had to do a project never went back to it it just wasn't my thing it did challenge me doing that project I did but I wouldn't go, wouldn't go. But it does the, when somebody does a steampunk project, I sit there and go, oh, wow, it really inspires me to do it. But then when I try and sit there and do it, I can never pick up the right things to do it. So hats off to anybody that does any sort of steampunk work because um, it is, I think it's, um, it's something that I don't know whether you would need to think about it more. I don't know, because if that's your own style, then you would pick it up anyway and use it in a normal way. Does, it, does that make sense? Because I'm not into steampunk. For me to pick it up, it's really hard and I've got to overthink. Um, but yeah, I, I hats off to anybody that does steampunk. Honestly, I, I, I commend you. But I get really in, inspired and I get 
old keys out and I get paint out and that's as so far as I sort of get. I don't get any further than that. So no, not my thing, but I take my hats off to anybody that does steampunk. Yeah, it's just not my thing. Yeah, exactly, Susan. And that's okay too, because we all got our own strengths and our weaknesses. And my weakness is definitely steampunk. So, how do you make these robots? Um, now, uh, you can make two. Uh, I can make two out of this sort of flower, which is what I need to put, so, put the other end. So, what you do, first off, I'm going to do this end. You fold it over... Um, sort of at an angle now because this is a circle it's not going to be um, it's not going to be it's not going to look sort of at an angle because it's circle petal so turn it over to like I don't know um, at an angle turn the other one now you don't want it as much you still want to find your little hole like a rosebud would be and you turn this one over till you get to about there. Can you all see that? I'm going to pick my needle and thread up. And I'm going to take my needle and thread. And I'm all I'm going to do is I'm going to sew from this point where my needle is to that point over there. And you don't need to pull it. It, this isn't the type of flower that you pull. Um, it does require a little bit of sewing. Um, and it's not difficult to make. And this idea wasn't mine. Um, I wanted some rosebuds um, for a project. And I went on to Pinterest. And I typed in rosebuds fabric rosebuds and this is what came up and but they did it they did a different way to me they they did it as i'm showing you now but they also put a, like a green um, bottom to it like as if it would be leaves um but i haven't got that far because i'm tucking them under my flower anyway so you're not going to see the end, end so pinch it together so you've sewed across so from where you've sewed across to where you started Pinch it together so that you get this sort of, I don't know what that's showing, this sort of forming here, right? Now your needle should be where you've just finished off. Take your needle and push it right through to the other end. And then bring it out and push it right through again. Like I say, out of one circle, you will get two rose petals. I'm gonna... Oops. Right, so I've done three stitches. I don't know whether it's the camera or whether I'm going too close. It's starting to sort of curl like a rose petal would. So bring. I'm going to bring my thread and I'm going to wrap it round tight as I can three times. I'm going to push my needle back through and I will show you all this again. Right, and then I'm going to push it through the cotton that I've just formed and tie it off. might get three out of the circle. Last time I got two. So cut it there and I'm going to cut it straight across. There's my first rosebud. So cute and so easy to make. I'm going to glue that on my project. Now I'm going to just pop in, so it's just there like so, it's just under that flower. I'm 
and I'm going to make another one. So let me show you again. Let me get my needles thread ready. I wanted two for the other side. And I've got some flat back embellishments that I want to stick. Right, so again, fold it over once, fold it over twice. Now, because of where I've singed it, that isn't going to be, um, be as round as it was before. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to sort of help it along. I'm going to sew it this way. So it doesn't really matter what way you sew it to begin with. I have this trouble every time I do lives. Needle always comes off my thread. Hi, Skyla. I can do shabby chic and steampunk, but can't do vintage. See? I can do shabby chic and vintage, but can't do steampunk, Debbie. All of our weaknesses and strengths. We all love things. We all not hate things, but we got projects or styles that we wouldn't go anywhere near. Because that's just... That's just us as crafters. I'm going to pull this back out a second. Right, um, I'm going to push this down. Right, okay, let me bring this up. So, pinch it till I get to about that effect. And I'm going to go from one end to the other. Oops. I haven't got much to do to this project now. Some charms to add. And I've got some flat back embellishments to add. Wrap it around. I'm going to push my needle back through. through and pull that tight and I'm going to push when my cotton's come off my thread my thread's come off my needle rather the cotton's come off my thread but it's the same thing and I'm going to push it back through that little loop to knot it so like I say, Pinterest showed you this method, the same method as I'm using, except she did a bit of a, a green edge for like um, leaves. Somebody asked me whether I'm making flowers. I'm making um, some rosebuds. Who asked me that? Skylar. I'm making some rosebuds buds my darling to go on my project I needed two more I made a few off um, off camera and I'm making a few more to stick on I'm gonna cut this down because it's way too big don't need my needle no more and I'm gonna stick this on so this is what it looks like at the moment um no add a little bit more glue now if i had thought ahead i could have sewed them um into the doily trim underneath I didn't think so I've got it like that then it opens up like so and then it opens on the back now I've got a few uh, flat backs to stick on which I'm gonna sort of get out 
And I did have this, but I just don't know where. I don't want to. S I think I've got something else in mind for that. And I've also got. Let me get it out. Oh, this is the one with the. Ah, here's the Beatrix Potter ones. Right, in this one, I've got a watering can, a spade, and a pair of gloves, which I am going to loop on with some jump rings. I'm also going to. Gonna do loop them on no jump rings. I'm going to put these, pop these pegs. And whoever wins this will win the packs, of course you will. I'll have that stick on there too. Right, wait a minute. There. <laughs> Bye, Avril. Thank you for um, popping in. I will dry, of course it will. It's just using wet glue, um, not ordinary glue. No, I've got some flat bags. So. Going in my drawer and let's see what we've got. So I've got one of these that I think not quite. Um, oops. And I've just got a few of like these to stick on and a few of these white ones. They're all like different ones. Some are flowers, others are stick that one there. That one there. Come on. How in there? Oh gosh. That one there, and I was, was known for her flowers, and she was known for a garden as well as her characters. Um, that she was well known. And then I'm gonna give her a few stick. While I'm waiting on that, I'm just going to get a get. Did get a bit of going on here. What I'm going to do. So I'm going to get my tool out, jar under my desk. I'm going to open these jump rings first. This project is nearly finished. another jump ring I'm going to loop it onto the side show you what I mean now I'm going to push it through there and then I'm going to loop it sort of in between that dangles like so and then 
then I'm gonna get another one out. Where's another one? Hi ladies, sorry I'm not I'm not like collecting no notification. Oh wow, no. Oh bless. Well, sorry ladies, it's gone dark. Believe it or not, I have to have my light on. It's just literally right next door to me. I'm trying to I might knock the ceiling light on now. I think I will. Give me a minute and I'll knock the ceiling light. That's better. You can see now. There, that's much better. Well, I'm so so hi Christine. Hi Maggie. I'm so sorry you never got a notification. I don't know why that is. Um I don't that's I'm so sorry you never got a notification, my love. Well, oops. just finishing this off by putting some, oh, come on, some charms on there. Can I loop it through you? Um. Rid of that, if it'll allow me. Okay, and I'm gonna put I'm gonna put two of the charms on the front and then two one on the back. And let's put the spade and the watering can together. And then I'm gonna loop the second the third one on the back. So let me just unscrew this for some reason. Is my pin in my there? So it looks something like that on the side. Now I'm gonna flick it over. And I'm going to put the last one, put the last one on. Hiya Anastasia, hiya Maggie. I hope the picture hasn't, uh, the picture isn't too dark. It's showing it's really dark, I don't understand that. It's really beautiful, Claire. Oh, thank you Anastasia. I just hope you guys can see it. Wait, where did I put that one on there? Um, and I'm going to loop this one through. Let's see if I can loop it there. Loop it there, we're laughing. There. Oh. Well, like I say, ladies, this was done. These charms were done with Gracie's Palace. It's looking gorgeous. Doesn't look too dark. Oh, brilliant. Thank you, ladies. Thank you, Laurel. Not dark at this end. Fab. This is my computer then. So I'm going to pop this one on. I'm going to pop. Oh, where should I pop it? You? You. Okay, now I'm going to put that on there. Let me just put this at the top. We've got some flat back to stick on the back. And then the fun bit of me giving it away. So let me just stick some. Oh gosh, I don't want to smash this one as well. Um, 
I'm going to stick the embellishments on the back. Okay, so we've got a couple of... Again, I've got a couple of these to stick on. go here see if I've got it oh yeah I have yeah right so wow it's finished um wow <laughs> it's finished hi Patty not looking too brilliant I'm so glad that you were able to see it because it's one of my sort of fears when I'm doing a live that it's not too dark and that everybody's able to see it so I'm glad you're able all able to see, see it so I'm gonna move it that end and they needed to dry a little bit more I'll pop them back on in a sec and I've put some of these charms on like um this is an old necklace that I had now let me get um this is sold of oh thank you ladies and that flower there really brings it to life i'm just gonna pop it this end a second because these just need a little bit more time to stick while these are sticking i will show you the inside in a second i am going in to get a pen and paper so if you are interested in this, um, in this, what are we calling it? A, um, what did I call it? A stick pin sewing book. Oh, look at all the love hearts. Precious. Oh, thank you, ladies. Yes, I love the chance of cool move. Thank you, Patty. Um, if you are interested, let me get a pen and paper before I say what you'll need to do, which isn't much. I promise. Okay, so... If you are interested in my um, Beatrix Potter stick pin sewing book, um, like I say, the images and the um, charms um, and the concept, the inspiration came from Gracie's Palace or pa pa is it the Palace or Place? Um, and that's Marlu, and she did a fantastic um, Beatrix Potter thing. Um, I'm going to see if I can open this now and show you. The, that's the inside of the book. So you've got a pocket there. This will all dry. So don't think, oh, she sent it there to me. What? No, this I'll make sure it all dries. So you've got a pocket there. And then this page is where you would put all your stick pins in. Um, so that's basically what the book looks like. And I've had so much fun making this book. It's been absolutely honour to make this book so if you are interested in this book all you need to write is B for Beatrix and P for Potter that's all you need to write is B for Beatrix and P for Potter and I'm going to get a pen and a piece of paper and I'm going to write your names down um, I'll put all your names into a hat in a second once I get everybody's names if anybody is interested Sierra Debbie, I'm staying at this one. I won the last one. Oh, you can you can be in this one, Christine. Patty, you can be in this one, Laurel. It's but if you win two, you miss out. You're you're on the naughty step on the third one. Um, little seal. Anybody else? So I've got Sierra. Okay. Uh, Angie Paisy. Um, I'll tell you who I got. See if I've missed anybody out. Yeah, go you, Angie. Um, Sierra, Debbie, 
Vlogs by Christine, Patty, Liz, Little Sue and Angie Paisley. Is anybody else? And can I just say, while um, I'm waiting on anybody, um, thank you all for watching. I mean that from the bottom of my heart. You've been watching this process, step one and step two, and um, it's been an absolutely immense um, life. Two lives, actually. Miss Liz. Did I miss Liz? Oh, no, I've got... You forgot Jacqueline. Okay. I got... I'll show you the list. Perhaps I didn't say Liz out loud. I promise you, Liz. I promise you, you're on the list. I promise. <laughs> okay. So, Sierra, Debbie. Vlogs by Christine. Patty, Liz, Little Sue, Angie Paisley and Jacqueline. I love watching you craft. Oh, thank you, Liz. So, have I got everybody to see everybody's names? Hope I haven't missed anybody out. Um, so, while I'm cutting these up, I don't think I've missed anybody now. Um, while I cut these up, challenges that are going on. Um, right, I'm trying to think now. There is Jeannie Dreamer, she's doing a challenge. Um, I know she's doing a challenge. I haven't got quite gone over to see what a challenge is all about yet because I'm trying to catch up and I don't want to be tempted to do another one that I know that won't arrive on time. So, but she is doing a challenge in kit if you guys want to um, have a look. Maggie White is doing a challenge and you would have tuned in here but didn't know you were live till about 15 minutes ago. Oh, Christine, honestly, don't worry. It's fine. I'm truly, honestly, fine. Um, Maggie White is doing a a challenge that's um, an image trans... Uh, an image transfer. No, an image... An Im I can't want to say transfer again. An image challenge. So you can do send her an Im images on paper or fabric. Either or counts. Um, anybody else doing a challenge that I haven't mentioned? Because I, I'd, um, like I've said to you before, I can't enter in everybody's challenge. But what I can do is give you all a, a shout out if you are doing a challenge. I always forget my own challenge. I'm challenge in case anybody is interested in that is running till the end of july but i will if i know your parcel's on its way i will wait and you will name but we'll put into the hat so don't think oh we've got the end of july but i really want to take part you're welcome to take part you are truly welcome um so there's my challenge maggie's challenge jenny dreamers miss stationery she's got a challenge going on um and she just sharing her video um you've received some totally awesome entries yes i have debbie the um jillian is by the side of me and like i say if i haven't got time to film it tonight the night will be going up tomorrow so jillian's is next to me i i don't know who anybody else is doing a challenge so if you know for anybody that's doing a challenge, please pop it into the comments so I can give it a big shout out because sometimes the chat does go really quick and I'll shout it out and I'll let you all know whose challenge is till when and even if you don't know what it's about. Yes, I'm glad that you extended your challenge. I've made i have mine all made just need to save the scent oh bless okie doke it's looking forward to sierra laurel says i'm so excited to get mine done for you claire and get emails oh bless sam is doing a challenge she is she's doing it isn't sam doing a couple of challenges i meant it i meant it in one of the challenges thank you and i'm sure sam's doing a couple of challenges at the moment I think she's doing two. I think. I think. She's doing a collaboration. She set up her own collabor collaboration, which I've never taken part in. So I don't know how that works or what you've got to do for it. But I know she's got a collab her own collaboration going on. Um, and that's for the month of August. But the challenge I've taken part in is to all to do with she's making a UK album. And it's to do with that. Um, so anybody in the UK, she will be doing one over abroad. But for the moment, 
she's doing one in the UK so if you live in the UK and you want to take part in Sam's challenge then Sam is she was Sam's creating oh what is Sam on YouTube what is Sam it's somebody remind me what Sam is on YouTube Sam's Scottish crafter there we are I got it <laughs> I wanted to say the craft is right she's the Scottish crafter I think she's doing two Scottish vlogger. Oh, there we are. <laughs> She's changed it again. Confused me. Be having words with her. Right, so I'm folding all these up the same. To make a card and a thread. Is that the collaboration? So, do you know? Scottish crafter. Right, okay. Um, yeah, so she will be doing one overseas. But if you live in the UK and you want to take part, all she asked for was like bus tickets um rail tickets around your area what's going on in your area that kind of thing um and i know i sent in rail cards and receipts she she does a lot and sam makes beautiful um junk journals so this is why she's doing a um challenge for that new challenge for 1700 subbies that's right she is doing it so but i can't think I can't think what her challenge is for for that. But yes, she is doing one for the 1,700 subbies. You're right. But I can't think what what she's doing it for now. I watched it the other day. I can't think what she's doing it for. Oh, it's done in number. I've just put in everybody's names in, Avril. Do you want to be part of... um To win the Bidrix Potter? Um, oh god I'm trying to think now let's go Beatrix Potter stick pin sewing book would you like me to put your name in because I'm just folding everybody's names up I'm on the last one now to make a card and she asked for thread there we are good luck ladies can my name go in no you're not too late Julianne not at all so you've all seen the names going in I'm going to put Julianne's in because she's asked me to her name to go in not too late at all if i had drawn it you would have been a bit too late but no not too late ava says yes please and susan says yes please okay my well, darling um avril um and susan okay so those are the names. Have I missed anybody so far? You have to check it. So I'm not supposed to join in until my daughter goes to school. See, I, I made a rule with myself because um, I was like, oh, I can't join in everybody's challenge. So I made a rule with myself that even if I can't take part, I'm going to give you the heads up on what challenges are out there. Because I find, I, I, I maybe you can relate, that I tend to put a lot of pressure on myself when it comes to doing challenges. Because I think, or I used to think that, oh, well, she's taking part in my challenge. I've got to take part in her challenge. <laughs> and it sort of gets, and I think, well, she didn't do it for that. Didn't and you sort of you have your own little battle in your head <laughs> about whose challenge um whose challenge you gotta do and why you gotta do it so i broke it down to three little rules and my rules are recently are uh, that i'm doing one in the uk and one international challenge which challenges go a month and the second rule is that i don't give myself too much pressure because it's crafting at the end of the day it's supposed to be a lot of fun and I'm guessing that whoever's doing challenges, whether they be myself or other people, then um, it's not the only challenge they're ever going to do. It's not. So, Gillian, I'm putting you in the hat, my darling. Where's Teddy? Can't hear him snoring. He is nowhere near me tonight. <laughs> Thank God. No. He is in the living room. Um, he's lying on... Um, oh, he's either in the hall or the living room. He's lying on the coal floor. Uh, we've got laminated flooring. So, yes. Uh, whose name did I... Uh, Avril, your name's going in, my darling. 
So, and Susan, your name's going in too. I break my own rules all the time. <laughs> See? I No, I know I, it's not going to... I know I'm going to break my own rules. Laurel, I'm going to be like exactly like you. <laughs> right. So that's everybody's names in. I'm going to shut this hat because the names tend to pop out. There's no names at all. These are like the pieces of paper that I just cut you know all the names from. There's no names at all attached to them. And I'm going to give this a good shake. So, oh, Teddy's too cute. I'm glad you guys think he's cute. He kept me up the other night snoring. So, good luck, ladies, for those you entered. For those that um, took part in commenting and watching, thank you so much. Thank you for all the thumbs up. I've got 12, and that's amazing. So, thank you so much. And I'm going to draw it myself tonight because I believe Chris is a little bit busy tonight. Chris, can you come and draw this? Chris? Chris Law! He's busy. He's playing his game. That's porny, ladies. So I'm going to draw it. There's nothing in my hands. You called me again. Yeah, I did. Do you want to come and draw this? Yeah. Oh, he's good. Good luck, ladies. Um, Whoever it is, um, I will... I'll give you my email address now and email me if you're not if this is your first time winning let send me an email and then I'll get it out to the post and I usually take about a week week to two weeks because I like to put goodies with it and some handmade things too all right you ready yep good luck ladies One. I can't even get my bloody hand in there there you go right yeah it's a bit of a catch-up in there Oh no, that's just played and played again. That one. So, the lady who's won is Vlogs by Christine. Christine, my darling, congratulations, you have won. This is your first time winning off me, I think, believe. And um, so, I'm going to write my email down for you. Can you email me? It's all in lower capitals, lowercase, sorry. None of this is in capitals. And I will, this Beatrix Potter will be coming to you. So give me an email. Um, don't worry about, you know, be it being... Uh, as soon as <laughs> I know how excited you must be at the moment this is your first time ever 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 winning from me so congratulations my darling um I hope you like it just in person as I have loved making it thank you to everybody that took part um and I will just show you the names left in um Patty your name's in there lovely uh, Liz, your name's in there. Like I say, thank you to everybody for the thumbs up. It's gone up to 17. Wow. Jacqueline, your name's in there. Susan, your name's in there. Jillian, your name's in there. Uh, Angie, your name's in there. Whoop. One in my hand. Debbie, your name's in there. Little Sue, your name's in there. I always like to do this because then you know who's left in the hat. Avril, your name's in there. And then there's one more, which was Sierra. Your name was in there. So congratulations, everybody. I think I missed everybody out. No, that was everybody. Um, Vlogs and Crafts by Christine. Um, please get in touch with me. I cannot wait um, for you to receive it now. Thank you for everybody joining in. Let me know, um, let me know, no, no, what, let me know, what am I on about, let me know. Um, I'll be live now next Friday at 9 o'clock UK time. Laurel, you're live tonight, I believe, which is, uh, Laurel is US, so for those in UK, works around about 1, 2 o'clock an hour time depending on what time usually it's around about one or two o'clock and laurel is forever purple creations no forever oh gosh forever 
Oh gosh, I'm trying to think now. She's one of the spanners on. God, that sounds awful. Forever Purple Creations Laurel. She'll be live tonight. Thank you everybody for watching. Um, I'll be back next week. Have a lovely rest of the week wherever you are in the world and I will catch up with you then. Thank you, Claire, for your beautiful project. So enjoyed it. Oh, thank you, Avril, for popping on. Thank you, everybody, for staying on. Um, thank you for the ladies that were joining. Don't worry if you were late. It's the fact that you came in, which meant so much to me. So thank you so much. Until next time, I wish you all a lovely rest of the week. Um, and I will catch up with you then. Take care, ladies. Bye.